I'm Vernon Bradley, of BM and Bradley of Nerney. Make yourself at home, Mr. Bradley. Thank you. Care for a cigar? Uh, no, no, thank you. Beerman, Bradley, and Nearney. Never run into you fellas before, have I? No, we're corporation attorneys. Wanted a little far over on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> what are you doing handling a criminal case? The firm that Huford works for is one of our largest accounts. They have asked us to handle it. Oh, I see. I talked with my client this morning. What do you think? Well, I think the whole thing's very unfortunate. I imagine the dead boy would feel the same way. Uh, Huford impresses me as being clean-cut and sincere. He's never been in any trouble before. The whole thing might be a case of temporary insanity. Bradley, have you ever actually handled a criminal case before? I told you we were corporation attorneys. You enter a plea of temporary insanity, you'll be laughed right out of court. Well, I hardly... I have witnesses, man. He wasn't insane, he was drunk. I believe it's my client's right to enter whatever plea he chooses. It's also your client's right to serve 20 years if his case isn't handled right. Well, I didn't come down here to get a lesson. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's just that you're a little bit out of your field. I feel that Hubert's had a bad break. I'd, I'd like to see him get a good one now. I'll accept a plea of manslaughter. That's one to 10 years. Don't you think that's a little steep? No steeper than being dead on a morgue slab. Bradley, this is not like reorganizing a company. A man's dead. Somebody's got to pay for it. Look, why don't you play it smart? Why don't you call in somebody like Conway or Destro? Our firm is not in the habit of calling in men like that. No. Destro used to be my law partner. Let me tell you something. We knew our way around the courtroom. <laughs> Do you want to know how I'd handle this case if I were on the other side of the fence? First, I'd object on any juror that didn't have a son in the service. Then I'd drag out his war record. I'd spend two days on it. I'd take it from the day he entered boot camp to the day he got his decoration on Okinawa. Then I'd pull in 50 character witnesses. From the old lady who's known him since he was born to his last commanding officer. Then I'd start in on intent. That's important, Bradley. Was there any intent? I'd harp on it till it was coming out of the judge's ears. You got all of that, Eddie? Yes, sir. I'll give you a copy, Bradley. Thank you, Mr. Nolan, but I don't think I shall need it. You don't, huh? It's a little emotional for me. I've always believed that the law is pretty well stated and that the less emotion brought into it, the better. Let me tell you, there's a lot of emotion connected with killing somebody. Seeing your client go up for a few years has even more. We shall try to see to it that that doesn't happen. Goodbye, Mr. Nolan. And thank you. There goes a first-class, double-breasted, overstuffed idiot. Yeah. Too bad for Huford. Yeah. Here's a case a junior law clerk could win with an IQ of 50. What now, boss? Type that up. We'll put a copy in the mail to Bradley anyway. <laughs> 